How's everybody doing? Zero here. Guys, today I'll be talking about Samus and by extension Dark Samus because Dark Samus is Samus' Echo Fighter. So they're both characters that are almost identical. They have very, very small differences. But pretty much the engine of the character is the same. Now, there's actually a healthy amount of footage for both characters, but there's this very convenient um, ultimate compilation of Dark Samus that has a ton of footage and I'll be able to analyze it uh, much easier than finding clips here and there now just so you guys know a lot of you guys have been saying well zero you find every character to be so good and top tier in smash bros ultimate but what about the bad characters well guys i present to you one of the characters that i found to be pretty mediocre and bad which was actually samus in smash ultimate there's a lot of top players not just me i find for example avadango raider of uh, samus really low and by extension dark samus there's a lot of people that found these characters to be pretty mediocre now i will be pretty much going over this video on the things that i feel like samus needs to either have more buffs or just improve upon and just some of the, you know the bad things that i find from this character that seem pretty alarming from a per pretty early stage now samus was pretty much one of the very first characters that i got to play in the e3 demo because i'm always interested because when I, samus is good she's usually very good um or like when samus has good things rather than what i'm trying to say because actually she's never really been that good at any smash game uh, she tends to have like at least her strengths for example in melee her down smash is amazing uh, her good things are usually good, but her bad things are usually bad. Now, Samus, unfortunately, I personally feel got nerfed from Smash 4. And I say this because a lot of her good things got removed. Now, let's just start with the video and start talking about things. Now, the main thing that I feel like Samus got nerfed is her dash tag. Now, dash tag as a, as a move, it does no longer really combo into anything. And as you already know, Samus in Smash 4 was basically running dashes deck and you get your combo and that's your main main tool to to pressure with now the problem is that they nerfed it they made the angle uh much worse for combos and they also um increased the lag after so this means that uh your combo options out of dash attack are just not really there huge huge nerf um i don't really know why they just took out uh dash attack because it's not like they buffed the other areas tremendously uh her projectiles are largely a little different um the missile has like this this like i want to say like this startup before it launches off you can now charge um charge beam uh while midair so you can camp a little bit better but the thing is that none of her projectiles are overwhelming enough to a point where i'll say okay they nerf that stuff but they made i don't know samus's missiles completely broken that's not really like samus's projectiles are good but not like broken enough to just win the match or at least to guarantee taking off dash attack so that's a huge nerf i feel like another thing is that um for like a lot of characters uh samus got a buff uh in terms of aerials a lot of her aerials are are buffed but surprisingly they actually nerf her upper which funny enough was actually one of her main pressure tools because she will like show up up there and pressure you cross up your shield with up air and things like that it was one of her i want to say main tools in neutral and they just nerfed that move and i don't know why i don't know why they nerf two of her main tools in neutral is so confusing to me uh a lot of people are getting hyped over dark samus's role even though it's pretty much the same thing it's just, it's just it's a terrible role anyway samus still has one of the worst roles ever in smash Bros. so that means you can't really roll uh she's really floaty which means that when you're landing you can't really land you get juggled in a game where you can't really air dodge from landing this means that samus will get obliterated when you're trying to land because she doesn't really have a downer like cloud downer or link downer where you kind of just throw your safe sword down and land um so samus literally completely struggles with that it's it's actually actually not very good at all <laughs> she gets juggled really hard uh in terms of off stage she's also very vulnerable as well she can do some mix-ups with bombs but like uh she can use the tether to recover but like if she's off the level um uh, recovering she, like she's kind of up there and she's trying to get to the ledge it's it's really hard for her to recover like she's really vulnerable in the air she can't really defend herself the, the mechanic changes actually nerf her quite a bit because at least in smash 4 she can air dodge a lot and she can kind of just uh get carried by the aerial drift um another nerf is the fact that her grab wasn't really buffed to a point where like it's suddenly good like she still has a very laggy grab that's a huge commitment to do so so 
whenever you try to grab you run the risk of missing and getting smash attack for it and none of her throws are really that amazing to guarantee having that amount of lag now because there's characters that have much better throws with way less commitment uh for example roy has down throw combos into a lot of her a lot of his moveset and you know it's a normal throw but um samus does not get that privilege so down throw still combos into stuff and that's good so you, you can still use down throw into stuff but then again it's not like you're going to consistently land in grabs you're going to maybe get one or two here uh per stock but grabbing in general it's very very difficult um they i also feel like they just nerf her combo potential i feel like she like for example dash is like there uh um, I feel like a lot of her moves just don't link as well together anymore. Um, she can still do like things like upper, upper, but like in Smash 4, you actually can do like upper into back air, upper into neutral air, upper, up, upper, 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 consistently. Also, they removed a lot of the BS that uh, B has. For example, in Smash 4, Samus has this thing called Shine Spark, where she has a ton of rage and your uh, certain uh, full speed character and weight. She can actually just up B you at zero and you die um a lot of things like this they they seem to have programmed them differently so they remove a lot of these things from the game uh, as far as i know there is no such thing as shine spark for for samus um and it's, it's like a lot of these things well they were stupid short sure. like it's still they made samus better in some regards like i feel like they took a lot away from samus rather than helping her which is which is alarming Another thing that I feel like Samus's best game plan pretty much is going to be shooting projectiles using Zare and using charge beam strategically to be able to pressure things. Um, her up smash is a kill option. Flash attack is a kill option at very high percent. But like the fact is that Samus as a character has far too much commitment and vulnerabilities for the amount of pros that the character has. I'll give you I'll give you an example, right? Like Samus, she can get, she can land a grab and get a small combo off of it. If she misses a grab, she gets smash deck. Uh, sometimes depending on how quick you dodge this man, like this, this grab, let's say you, you roll behind her, you can charge a smash attack on this. You can just basically charge a smash attack, which is a big deal. Um, there's also the fact that Samus, out of all characters, she is extremely floaty and she does not really have a way to land. Which, in a game where you can't really land, makes her makes her even more terrible. Now, I know I said that before, but I really just want to say it again because it is such a huge deal. Like, I've been basically saying that the characters that will end up being good in this game are the characters that can land. This is why I think characters like Diddy Con are going to be good. Characters like Pikachu are going to be good because they can land. Now, just speaking about specifics on Samus. Samus still has the ability to upbeat a shield that's going to be very useful to negate pressure. Um, down Smash is just not a good move. As you can see, it's not elegant melee. It's just... You probably just want to force smash or just up till or just honestly any move, <laughs> any other move. Uh, I, I'm actually, if I, okay, if, if you were to ask me, Zero, how would you buff Samus? If you're saying Samus is weak, how would you buff her? First of all, give her her dash attack that combos back. There's there's no reason why this dash attack which sh sh should not combo. This dash attack should be a, a combo option. G give her that. Um, in terms of um, in terms of the rest. I personally think that her camping game should just be improved. I think missiles should be just, even though it might make her gameplay kind of lame, I feel like you should just want this character. Like if you're not going to give her dash tag, at least improve missiles um, to a point where you can actually like kind of like do it in a melee where you can just sure up and throw a missile lightlessly. Uh, so you have Samus can pressure and, and camp at the same time. I will also make down smash significantly better, kind of like in melee. Mainly because there's almost no reason for you to use down smash half the time. Like it just doesn't really provide anything that useful uh, like in that in any situation you can dance much you rather just force smash um like that smash does not give you like any at least like positional advantage or throws people like significantly behind you like it does in melee i also think that they should probably make samus slightly heavier i think i think samus will probably benefit from being bulky uh, i feel like she wants to be this hybrid of like a campy character that's uh that is that is heavy and i feel like she's not heavy enough the compensate for this i feel like you should also make bombs um have a bit more mix-up potential like at least prop them up prop her up higher uh so you can at least use them off the level to land or maybe uh, up in the air like at least give her options to land because right now she has almost no mix-ups whatsoever i also think that if you're going to give her a tether uh and such a slow grab she should at least have the potential to do big things but i feel like she like for example, they buff her back throw 
to make it so it can kill a, like a reasonable percent like 150 160 but i personally feel like she should have a stronger um kill option because like you don't really grab that often with samus it's really uncommon just she should at least have a better kill throw or a very combo throw. one of the two should just be added so at least if you grab with samus it feels worth it you know it's not like like realistically you're only going to grab with samus if they're just blocking every single one of your projectiles and you know you just get this one grab for like 10 12 percent and then call it a day it's not it's not that impactful it doesn't feel like a big change it doesn't feel like um you, i feel like this i feel like samus just doesn't reward you for making good plays as often like okay you're cracking down on their defense you grab them great you don't get that much reward or you you, you approach you finally get to approach you dash that you don't get a reward you know things like that i feel like really take a take a toll on the character and i just feel like she's really going to suffer if she stays as is a lot of players feel like she's w some of the worst in the game like for example i i um <laughs> funny enough before i made this video i actually rated chew dad uh on twitch and someone asked him for one of the first questions they asked him were like oh who do you think is the worst character in ultimate you that was just like i think samus sucks <laughs> i was just like oh my god dude. <laughs> it, it happened right before i was about to film this video which i thought was hilarious like i didn't even think that something like that will happen so but regardless like i don't I, I, i'm just worried for samus like i feel like they need to buff at least three or four of her things for her kid to make sense because right now she basically seems like a very incomplete character to me like you can camp with charge beam and missiles and zare and but you can't really roll and then you hope you don't get hit into the air because you can't land and if you get a dash stick or a grab you don't almost get any reward and then they nerf her combo game but then they also nerf her up b stuff that was kind of crazy they they nerfed that too um they buffed some of her damages but then they removed combos so this is, i don't know dude i feel like i feel like they went all over the place with samus like I, I in my head when i play her i was like it makes no sense how to me for how to play this character because none of her none of her kit is strong enough to focus on doing that but then you have to like do the other stuff and then it's not nearly as good so then the character feels like it, it it's not cohesive anymore also her jab still sucks i actually don't know why her jab is still trash i don't know why her jab is still trash uh, like either make her four till and down till broken and give her a trash jab for some reason or just fix her jab i i don't know why the second jab still misses this well just why <laughs> just, just why would you do that it's so confusing to me i don't get it it's so weird uh, i don't know why they did this to samus it's, it's weird regardless samus has been consistently been one of the worst characters in smash i mean she's terrible in 64 she's decent in melee probably the best her best iteration terrible in bro terrible in smash for until she got buffed until she was decent and now here in ultimate she's basically nerfed down smash for samus that's the way she felt to me that's the way she felt to me to a lot of older pros it's just it's just it was just very very frustrating uh um gameplay I, I don't understand a lot of the decisions they took with the character and i hope that they <laughs> they change a little bit um another thing that i found really frustrating with her in, in her design in ultimate is the fact that her forder just it, it her forder is one of those moves that like it got buffed so you can do it better from the ledge but the problem with forder that very few people understand is that when samus starts doing her forder in the air she kind of goes like this she goes above her in a diagonal and then goes down this means that samus essentially has a blind spot on her right and left uh, on her on her front like in the middle of the body and then under her on the diagonal where downer doesn't really reach this is a huge weakness because when you're juggling here you can consistently put yourself in that one spot and samus does not really have a move to protect herself she doesn't have a move that just covers her from that angle which is a big big weakness um yeah those are pretty much the reasons why i think sam is just is really gonna is likely to struggle in ultimate i feel like they nerfed down a lot of her things um yeah i don't like dark samus doesn't really have any massive improvements as to like yeah well dark samus is gonna save the cat you know she has this and this and that like i said her role which was to be hyped is, is, is roughly the same thing it's a terrible role anyway um there's not really a redeeming factor she shares the exact same engine or moveset i don't know i feel like this character needs to be buffed i already said in what ways i think will be helpful if not samus runs a really good risk of being on the lower side of characters uh for smash ultimate which will be concerning because it wouldn't be cool if samus continues not to be the strongest now as always guys um thank you for watching guys uh also remember that i am doing a smash ultimate switch bundle two of these babies right here two of these babies 
If you want to join, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Zero Wondering, on Instagram at Zero Wondering, and on Twitch at Zero. Uh, enter the link in the description below, the Gleam link. Redeem your follows to get entries to gain the Nintendo Switch. And if you are uh, on Twitch as well, if you're a subscriber, you get massive bonus entries. Or you can also use Amazon Twitch Prime. You can sign up for a free trial um, to get more chances to win. It's completely free. Or you can use your own Amazon Prime to connect to your Twitch or someone else's Amazon Prime. Like your, your, your parents, your family, maybe a friends or somebody. It doesn't have to be your Twitch Prime. But this is a way where you can subscribe for free and get massive interest to win these two Nintendo Switches. Because I have two of these bundles. With that said, guys, thank you all for watching so much. Pour one out for the, for the Samus homies. Uh, hopefully, I'm wrong by release and maybe the character is a lot better. But from playing her um, at E3 extensively, from people playing her, from me watching videos uh, of the what we think is the full version with all the characters, Samus is not in a good spot. So we'll see how that pans out. With that said, guys, thank you all for watching. You have a uh, good one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.